Well, the Shaky Isles have lived up to their names with this quake, but why has this one been so devastating? Kylie Simmons takes a look at the reasons. Thousands of tremors rattle New Zealand every year, but none have done anything like this much damage to Christchurch. We now know that the city is on what's called a hidden fault, where earthquakes can strike without warning. New Zealand itself sits on the ring of fire. This zone is on the edge of the Pacific Ocean, where most of the world's largest earthquakes happen. The fault lines responsible for all the damage run right through the country, dividing the Australian and Pacific tectonic plates. September's quake may have been more powerful than this one, but there was less damage as the epicentre was 40 kilometres away from Christchurch. The reason this quake has been so destructive is because it not only ruptured 10 kilometres away, but it was shallow, just 5 kilometres below the surface. Since September, there have been nearly 5,000 aftershocks felt all over the countryside. Some of them have been as strong as 5.9 on the Richter scale, eventually peaking at 6.3. The fault that produced this earthquake and the one last year were not previously known to geologists. It's buried under a river sediment. It hasn't moved for probably tens of thousands of years. So people thought that Christchurch was rather safer than it has turned out to be. The type of rock underneath the city also intensified the impact. It is particularly soft and in some places the ground liquefied during the shaking. This can undermine foundations causing buildings to sink or topple. Those that appear to have survived still may be lost. Some of the buildings that have not uh, been flattened, uh, after inspection they may be deemed uh, uninhabitable and they have to be bulldozed. And Strict building codes weren't really introduced until the mid-1970s, so a lot of history has been lost in this quake. The best uh, solution is to basically build better buildings and I believe technology is there to do it. This could also be the costliest natural disaster in the world for insurers since Hurricane Ike in the United States three years ago. Analysts estimate that insured losses could top $12 billion. Experts say another large earthquake at this time is unlikely, but more aftershocks can be expected.